Hey guys, welcome back to Vincent Custom. So today we're going to kind of start off an experimental video, an experimental sculpting type thing. Now, this right here is a Sideshow Emma Frost bust. What I'm actually turning her into is a Dark Phoenix bust because I really think that the face and everything works great. It's just the hair was kind of off and I really wanted to do something different with the hair, kind of give it that flowing look. Now, to actually like sculpting all that hair and use a clay which would be the greatest way to do it and then you, you make your casting and mold but this is a custom so it's kind of like a one shot deal and then we're done. Now uh, I, I looked into a couple other options of doing it but it was kind of like you know a lot of materials are involved and as you can see I started using extra aves at night to kind of mess with this and I realized that more and more I work on it the more and more I will have to use but I kind of uh, wanted to work out and experiment and try different things so when I broke my uh, thumb last year I was in the doctor's office and they had that uh, um, wrap for when you break your uh, fingers legs and all that stuff and it was pretty cool because they ran in in water put it around and it dried and it set because it was you know a fiberglass now uh, I mentioned in my videos what was going on so one of my viewers and a member on the forum a statue forum contacted me and said hey you know I work in an office and you know if you want we can work out a deal and I can try to get you some so we talked and I was able to get a couple packets of the stuff from them in the mail so what the experiment is is we're gonna uh, take this stuff and kinda sculpt an armature basically a hair going around where we want it to go I'm gonna have to look up online see if I can find any kinda looks that I like and then uh, basically what I'll do is I'll take a strip run it underwater and put it up there and kind of start building out the hair and then when I'm done with that and I kind of like where it is I can start adding aves to it and magic sculpt and all that stuff so the uh, frame will be there and then putting the aves and the magic sculpt will really make it secured and hardened and I'll get my hair so it's kind of like an experiment I want to see how it works uh, you know maybe this isn't the best way of doing it maybe other sculptors and stuff would do something else but I'm kind of just want to try different things and see what will happen so what we'll do is I'll uh, start trying to plan out what I might do I might drill this back out and take this out I'm not sure I was just kind of messing with it um, so I'll come up with an idea and then we'll come back and we'll just start applying it seeing how it works and at the end we'll start adding the aves and magic sculpt and all that you know maybe I'll even pour resin into certain areas too because I have A and B resin you mix together I don't know so it's kind of an all experiment. I want to see what will happen at the end of the project. But, uh, you know, we're going to just, uh, that's the fun thing about the hobbies. You never know what will work. Uh, this process might be pretty cool and it might work out great for customs at this size. Or it might not. Um, so that's what's going to happen. So we'll be back when I uh, come up with some more ideas and I figure out exactly what I want to do with the hair. Alright guys, so I'm a, I'm experimenting actually with one package just to see like how this stuff works and I'm making a total mess of myself. I got this crap all over my hands. Um, but I kind of like what it's doing. I mean, you kind of, I guess if I could kind of do one little shape and then pull it down, another little shape and pull it down, I start working out wrinkles. Now, it doesn't actually stick to the resin. As you can see, it's kind of loose, but it does give you something. So I'm thinking what I could do is sort of like make my shape drop a lot of glue in there glue it up drill it out a little bit and then I could start sculpting over it but I kinda like the way this sides looking but this sides kinda didn't come out too well and then what I wanna kinda do is uh, I'm shoving the extra excess in here to kinda build out the back so when I put it over it's kinda flush but like I said I just opened up one package just to see what it looks like how to go about it and I kinda like the way this so what I had to do is I had to sit here and hold this piece like this let that set and dry uh, but I kind of liked what it's doing and it's kind of where I'm gonna go with it um, I'm just kind of experimenting and having fun so like I said this side's not working too well but this side was uh, so what I might do is drop a couple pieces of glue in here and there but I'm gonna come mess with it because in this package I got a little bit left and I think uh, what's happening is if you don't kind of use it right away it might start to dry on you so I'm kind of just having some more fun with it while I can so uh, I would like to film it, but the only problem is I'm going back and forth to the bathroom wetting this stuff, and it's just, I'm knocking stuff over, I'm trying to tape it as fast as possible to hold it, and it's just, it's very difficult to work with. But once I could kind of get the shape done, uh, I could kind of show you guys where we're going with it, and how to kind of get it, like, going together 
But uh, let me try to finish up with this at a little piece and kind of work out a little bit. We'll come back and then we can kind of probably add on to more of it down the line and I can show you what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm still messing with it some more and it's kind of coming out pretty cool. So I'm going to actually show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut off a piece of this here. And what I'm going to do is I'll come back and I'll do another little strip going around here. Kind of showing you how I work in it. Um, kind of like how it's doing it. It's kind of, even though it's fiberglass, there's a lot of statues that are done in fiberglass. Like a lot of the bigger uh, pieces. So it's nothing really different than what a lot of factories are doing with some statues. It's kind of just uh, doing it from scratch. So let me go get this uh, all set up. We'll come back and we'll do another little strip over here. Kind of just give you an idea of what's going on. Alright, so we got the strip all uh, soaking wet. And the next step is kind of just uh, throwing it onto the piece. So kind of what I'm trying to do is wrap it around like this. And then kind of go underneath around in there. And then what I kind of do is I kind of hold it. Kind of what I'm coming up with here and there. Yeah, it's a little tedious and it's kind of, you know, it's not as perfect as if you're going to sculpt uh, from scratch where you get a lot of freedom. Now, once all this stuff is hardened up, if I don't like this, I could kind of cut it out and drill it up and then use the A's to go where I want to go with it. But this is good for just getting that basic look going down. Uh, so what I was doing, too, is I was taking some glue to kind of help me out, throw some glue up in here, hit it with the insta set, so that kind of holds that to where I want to go, I got glue and stuff all over my fingers, I'm really making a mess but it's fun, <laughs> it's all experimenting, just seeing what, what I can do with this, so as you can see all these wrinkles, what I will do is I'll uh, throw A's in there, wrap it around, kind of go around here, now, I'm just getting the basic stuff, uh, just kind of where I want to go with it, uh, and that's kind of fun. And, of course, the back, I'm trying to fill up the back, too. So I got a little bit left here of this piece. Um, I'm going to try to do another uh, strip or so. Uh, so that's kind of, it starts to harden pretty fast. Um, it doesn't actually, like, stick to the resin, so you got to use some kind of a glue or adhesive to get it there. And I'll probably go back in later once it's all set and hardened and really get a lot of glue uh, drops here and there to kind of get it really set. So, and like uh, back here, it's kind of flimsy. So, what I'll do is I'll uh, get the glue on that piece right there. And there you go, that's kind of like uh, just kind of building out strips. And it's kind of, you know, and then when I when I do the aves, I might bring out more here, do a little curls, and kind of run with it and have fun. But I kind of just want to build up around here some more, because uh, this side's working out pretty good. Um, I'm happy with it. This side's still kind of so-so. Um, but that's kind of like what I'm uh, experimenting with. It's kind of fun. And of course my hands are just... I got all this fiberglass all over. I probably should use gloves, but screw it. You only live once. So might as well have some fun. So what I'll do is I'm going to use up the rest of this. Do another little uh, sheet. Uh, maybe we'll do like a little fast video on that. Then once you know we get the whole basic structure uh, going and uh, any other things I want to do. We start you know filling up with Aves, Magic Coat, whatever I have. So I think this project might be that type of project where... It's on the shelf. Whenever I have extra A's at night or I mixed up too much, I'll start using that to build out the hair because to sit here and just build out all the hair at one shot and then when I work on other statues, this item kind of, you know, I don't have really many other items where I can throw like a lot or a little. I can jab some A's in here, jab some. So it'll start to get really heavy over time. So it's kind of good to have a project on your shelf while you're working on stuff that you can use all that extra A's or magic so so you don't waste it. 
So it's kind of, I call this kind of like the burn statue where all the extra A's and everything, I could burn it and put it all up on here. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll have, you know, I'll be tweaking some more here and there. So we'll, you know, we'll come back maybe once I uh, get a couple more pieces up and we'll start going from there. Alright guys, it is the next day, so uh, kind of like the whole experiment and just learning and just seeing what this will do for customs for now on, because this stuff might be good for a lot of different projects I do. Uh, I'm learning some do's and don'ts, uh, of course the, the first don't was don't use uh, you know spare hands unless you're wearing rubber gloves, but it's not that big of a deal. As you can see, it's peeling off the hands. It's just like resin and glue, so as like the next day, it just starts all peeling off, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, so I'll just wear gloves next time. Uh, just uh, certain parts don't like fuse together. So as you can see, it's a little bit loose here. But that's a real simple fix. Get a bunch of drops of glue in there. Hit it with some of the Insta set, and that'll set up pretty well. It is pretty hard. It is set up, but it still can pretty much break off and snap. But once you start putting aves on here and you start connecting the aves to the areas of the resin, it'll fuse together and it'll be one nice solid piece. And this kind of saves uh, a lot of space and money because you could take uh, four gallon, uh, you know, four pound kits of uh, Aves, as you can see these things here, and you know this whole kit right here could probably only do that side, you know. Then you would have to get another one and do this side and then the back. But this kind of saves space. Plus, it doesn't make it as heavy. So it's it's kind of just experimenting and seeing what you can do with different stuff that's out there in the world, you know. Um, like I said, some sculptors, you know, might say, hey, you're going about this all wrong, or they might say, hey, you know, it's kind of a cool idea, because it's a custom. It's not something that's going to be mass-produced. It's a one-of-a-kind, and I'm just having fun with it. Plus, it's kind of a good way to uh, teach myself more about hair and just experimenting. Um, you know, uh, what I'll probably do is put on some gloves today. I'll probably hit the back of here some more, uh, glue this piece in here, just because I want to get the hair to come down to about there to the back I'm not going to go further and I don't want to focus on the back too much I want the hair just to kind of come down but the most focus is going to be up in here mostly and then uh, you know once this is all done and I start getting all the A's and everything it'll work out so like I said it's a good project for burning A's at the end of the night when I have extra A's so this way I don't take a whole pound of kit do it up and then I'm done this way you know I have some extra A's I shove it in there shove it in there get it all around and then as it starts getting closer to being done, I could sit there one night and start fine detailing it and getting it all going together. So uh, that's kind of like where I'm at. I'm um, having fun. So what we'll do is uh, throughout the year, we'll take this uh, video and we'll just keep on adding on little things that I do. You know, like, hey, okay, I threw some here, I threw some there, and just kind of building up on it. So I'm having fun. I kind of like where it's going. And it just gives me that uh, basic look where I want to start flipping in hair and having some fun. So we'll be back as we progress. Okay guys, it's been a couple days and it's actually working out pretty good. So I'm actually happy with where it's going. It's going to take some aves, it's going to take some time, but it's a good learning process and a good experimenting process. So on the back I used some white and I actually shoved a lot of the roll up in here. So I got a lot of mass up in here, which is good. Now like I said, I'm not going to focus on the back that much. Uh, it's mostly the front uh, because it's so much and... Uh, it's just uh, to put a lot of that age in there is going to be crazy. But I figure maybe I can uh, run some two-part resin, kind of pour it in some areas, fill up some stuff. But I have to experiment and see what's what. But that's where we're at. Uh, this is going to end part one of this video for this. This is going to be like a, a long year project of just keep filling it in with aves and showing stuff until I get to the point where I'm ready just to get it done and everything. And then maybe we'll uh, go from maybe a paint-up process too with something in this bigger scale. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll start getting work on part two.